All right, electric e-bike pals. I have uh, kind of worked out a solution for the problem that we've had with coming up with brake lights for an electric bike without getting involved in anything that endangers the controller. So on your electric e-bike, you have motor cutoff switches. And those switches uh, have a five volt signal that when it closes, that is what the motor knows to shut down. So that would help you to have not have unintended acceleration while you're stopping and cornering and maneuvering in tight spaces. So that's what that's what these wires do that normally hook to your uh, hook on to your uh, your wiring harness at the front of your electric bike. So you can't really use those wires without upsetting the motor cutoff circuitry, which you don't want to do. But the other way to do it is there are optional switches that are used on some people's bike that want to have cutoff switches that do not have the switches built in to the brake handle like the electric bikes all have. And that is to fit a magnetic switch onto the brake handle using some super strong 3M double stick tape and putting a little sense, a little trigger magnet onto the brake handle. So whenever the brake handle moves, moves away, this switch closes and that would cut your motor. However, we're going to use that as a way to have the brake lights come on. So the way you would use that is you would install this on the bottom. So you're not going to see it. It's going to look like that. You know, your brake lever's going to, it's going to look disguised. So I put it on this side here just to make it easier to do the video. But that's, that's what that is. I've hooked this up to a volt ohm meter that is a continuity tester. So I'm going to move the brake lever and you're going to hear a little beep come on from the continuity tester, hopefully. Let's get that held. Okay, I'll move the brake lever real slightly. Okay, you hear that come on and then it closes off. So the magnet's stuck on here with some real strong double stick tape. You could also do it with adhesive as well. We don't recommend drilling holes in brake handles because there's a lot of forces involved there in a panic stop. But the, the adhesive stuff works pretty good. It'll keep that on there. It'll be on the underside of the brake handle so you won't see it anyway. And then you can zip tie these things down to zip tie it to, other, to either the brake cable or to the other shutoff switch. And that can be connected through with some DIY cabling and connectors to the power that's going to your taillight or power that's going to your headlight and then eventually is routed to a second taillight, which becomes your brake light. So that's one way to do this. It's not the only way to do it, but it's the easy way to do it without endangering your controller circuitry or changing anything that electric has designed into it for your bike to have those motor cutoff switches work properly. So there you go, Richard at the Steady Peddler. Any questions? Why, well, just check out the description. I'm gonna have the link there to these magnetic switches if you are a DIYer and want to experiment on this yourself. Thank you.